Hi everybody, I am always amazed by the beauty and biological diversity of the underwater world. Now the next time you're taking a portrait or macro image of a trumpet fish, check out their unbelievable eyes. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to photograph their eyes and explain some really interesting things about the trumpet fish eye. Let's check it out. There are so many fascinating things to be learned and observed about how animals evolve various features to help them survive and thrive. Trumpet fish are cool to begin with, with their long sleek bodies and unusually shaped mouths. They have beautiful but unusual appearing eyes. In this video, I'm going to show some cool images of trumpet fish eyes and give some tips on how to photograph them. I find that trumpet fish rarely allow a very close approach. Now patience always helps, but I have the most luck if it is hiding vertically in the weeds or coral and doesn't think I see it. To capture their eyes, I usually use a simple 60 millimeter macro lens. Now if I'm attempting super macro, I don't like using the wet diopter since it shortens the working distance and trumpet fish are so hard to approach closely. I've had some luck with super macro with a teleconverter and 60 millimeter macro lens. This allows more magnification, but it does not shorten the working distance. <clears throat> Though it does require more light from your strobe and is somewhat more demanding with regard to focus. Now here's a diagram of a typical eye of a bony fish. Check out my first insight into eye video for more uh, information on this. The light goes through the cornea and lens onto the retina. The pupil um, is the central opening in the iris through which the light passes onto the retina. Now the lens of the fish is large. It's spherical and hard. The large lens protrudes through the pupil, so the pupil in most fishes remains fairly large and roundish and does not constrict to bright light like it does in humans. Here's a side view of a beautiful squirrel fish eye showing the large uh, round lenses, the red arrow, protruding through the brown iris, which is the green arrow. Here's a front view of the eye showing the large lens protruding through the large rounded pupil. Now if you look carefully, you'll notice a notch in the front lower part of the pupil. This is another example in an angelfish, a notch in the front lower part of the pupil. This notch is called an aphacic space and allows fishes with laterally positioned eyes, in other words, eyes on the side of their head, to see in front of them without having the iris block the light as it would pass through the eye to enter the retina, the back of the eye. This provides the fish some binocular vision. Now here's a diagram of the notch in the pupil or aphacic space, the red arrow, showing again how light the blue arrow from in front of the animal can go through the round lens and onto the retina, the back of the eye, the red arrow, without being blocked by the iris, the green arrow, because of the notch, the aphacic space. This shows the path of light going into a trumpet fish eye in a similar position. Now here's the twist. In almost all other bony fishes, I've noticed that the notch in front of the fish eye is pointing downward. But in trumpet fish, the notch is in the front of the fish, but pointing up, not down. I always found this baffling. Why this variation? Then I thought about how often I see this fish position in a downward position. And I'm pretty sure the pupil is shaped in this perplexing fashion because of the way the fish is positioned on the reef, facing downward, looking for prey and or hiding from predators. That way, they are looking downward, but also in front of them. Fascinating. The trumpet fish has beautiful and stunning eyes with a prominent notch pointing up to allow them to look ahead and achieve some binocular vision without iris blocking the incoming light. Because the trumpet fish often attempts camouflage by facing down on the reef, I think this is why the notch in their eye faces up instead of down. That way they can look ahead while being in this position. Well, there you have it. So the next time you're doing a macro or portrait shot of a beautiful trumpet fish, check out its amazing eye. And thanks for your attention. <laughs>